Murata. Now back to Kostritsyn. 400 more. 400 more. Yeah, he more. Announces more. 400,000 more. Rice. And Kasali's going over the top. Rice, 2 million. You rice or what? Yeah, I rice. I rise for you 400 plus 600. And the velocity with which Casali made this decision probably was not a good idea. <laughs> you probably have same hand. That's same hand? Probably. You go over in, or you can cool, and then we'll have a look. Oh, really? <laughs> Kostritsyn's last comment should tell Casali, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm all in. Oh, yeah. And an instant call from Casali, and his tournament life is at risk. Well, the Australian must have seen something in the Russian that just wasn't there. The way the betting went, there's no way Casali should have called off all his chips. Where did you get the pair of ices? I thought you had same hand, that's for sure. You mean race, mean race, mean race. Same hand for sure. Well, Casali will need a jack or some kind of straight, or he's out. Here is the flop. No help. King, nine, deuce. Rainbow. Running cards for a straight could help Casali, but after that deuce on the turn, he's down to two cards in the deck. I want to go to the toilet anyway. <laughs> Kostritsyn has Casali in a world of hurt. Unless he sees a jack on the river, his Aussie mm. millions will be flushed away. Not Jack. Here is the river. It is a queen. Casali is gone. And Kostritsyn is going to win just under five million chips. That's about a million now behind our chip leader. Antonio Casali eliminated, finishing in sixth place. He'll earn 300,000 Australian dollars and gets a hero's welcome in the viewing room as they acknowledge what a great accomplishment it's been for this 67 year old. You did very well. Welcome back to the final table of the Aussie Millions, where one man will walk away with $1.65 million. And that trophy, and that bracelet. Back at our final table, the blinds are 15 and 30,000 with a 5,000 ante. Nino Murata with a queen 10. And Murata's going to raise to 100,000. As the short stack, Murata is now the prime target at this table. Fold around to Kostritsyn now with an ace jack. And he is going to raise to 300,000. And this is a great time for Murata to fold. Here on the wall? Yep. But instead he calls. Hmm. Two to the flop. And the flop a jack 10 3. Dangerous. Check from Kostritsyn. And I expect Murata to fire in the last of his chips. I'm all in. There he goes. He will get called. All in. Call. An instant call from Kostritsyn. And Murata in critical condition. Come, uh, as wieder sein. Auf Wiedersehen, meaning goodbye in German. And in Australian, it means I need a ten or a queen. And here is the turn. It is an ace of diamonds. Yeah. King or a 10. Well, Murata is looking on the river for either a 10 or a king for a straight. Otherwise, he's out. Auf Wiedersehen. It is a 9, and Nina Murata will be eliminated. He will, however, finish in fifth place and take home a nice check of 400,000 Australian. But how about the 21 year old Russian? Only been playing poker for a couple of years. However, he handles himself with the poise of a man with a lot more experience than his age would suggest. I'm Alexander Kostritsyn, I'm from Moscow, Russia, and I do poker for a living. I play a big game in uh, Moscow private club. Uh, it's 100-200 uh, blinds, no limit hold'em. Sometimes it's 200-400, no limit hold'em, and sometimes it's even higher. I can win or lose uh, 100, 200, uh, probably 300 thousand dollars per night. It's a big responsibility for me to play such big games uh, for my uh, old, for my, for my for my 21, <laughs> for my years. <laughs> I feel good for sure. I, I want to help my parents, I want to help my friends. Uh, that's all I need in my life, to help people, to be in a good, uh, comfortable house uh, and uh, 
That's all I need. Bring another table. Do you have bigger one? We always think that we are better than we are, actually. So I think I'm one of the best players at the table, but uh, I'm not, not sure it's, uh, is it true. But I will act like I'm one of the best players at the table. Does the phrase, baby-faced assassin, mean anything to you? Boy, it sure looks like it, doesn't he? He has knocked out all three players at the final table, and look how close he is now to Chris Anthopoulos. Remember when he had three times as many chips as anybody else? Wasn't that terribly long ago? Four players remaining in the competition here. Action going to begin here with Peter Ling, a queen eight, and he's going to fold. Now Kostritsen, nine deuce suited, he's on the button. And he raises to 90,000. When it's four-handed, you're in the blind half the time, and the other half of the time you have a chance to steal. That's what Kostritsen's trying to do. Mike C. is not going to let him. He defends the blind and calls with a jack-5 suited. And now the flop, queen, 10, 8, two diamonds. Mike C. spikes a flush and straight draw. Check from Chris Anthopoulos and a check from Kostritsen. And now the turn is a king of clubs. Check. And another check. And now Kostritsen with just a nine high and a gut shot straight draw. And he's going to bet. Yeah, and Chris Anthopoulos is going nowhere. His straight draw just got better. It went from an inside straight draw to an open-ended straight draw. An ace or a nine to complete the straight and any diamond for a flush. He also happens to be ahead with jack high. 155,000 was the bet from Kostritsen. And a call. And now the river. King. No help to either player. Chris Anthopoulos probably can't imagine that his jack high is the best hand right here. Check. So he checks it. On the other hand, Kostritsen knows there's no way I win with my nine high. I've got to bet. And he appears to be doing just that. Three hundred fifty thousand the bet. Barry, I think that's going to work, unless Chris Anthopoulos can somehow look into Kostritsen's soul and detect a bold bluff, he's going to have to give it up. And he does. He throws it away. A well-executed bluff from Alex Kostritsen. And for the first time at the final table, Mike Chris Anthopoulos is no longer the chip leader. That title goes to Kostritsen, the man who's knocked out every player so far tonight. Welcome back to the final table of the 2008 Aussie Millions. Well, the Crown Melbourne offers some of Australia's finest and most eclectic dining options. Some of the country's best restaurants can be found at the Crown, including its newest addition, the world-famous Nobu, which offers some of the finest Japanese cuisine served throughout the world. 1.65 million will buy a lot of pan-seared tuna garnished with sea urchin eggs. It's not chopped liver. It'll buy that too. <laughs> Back to our final table now. Fold around to Eric Seidel. Seidel with a king six. Gonna raise to 110,000. Now Peter Ling. Ling a queen jack. He's in the big blind and he will call 70,000. Battle of the short stacks. Both these men desperately need a double up. King eight deuce 